are warriors with nothing to lose. You've given us purpose. You've given us a plan. We pray protection around law enforcement today, Lord God. Let's do this, guys. Hey, guys. We're not looking for any fights. We are here simply to stand with Donald Trump and for his fellow supporters. And uh, in the event that we have to provide extra security, we will. The armed citizen is the first line of defense, law-abiding weapons carriers. But the people that don't want to follow the law, they'll get what they deserve. Everyday patriots are coming on board and people who want to stand up to the leftist, racist murderers that are killing cops. Chris Cox is founder of Bikers for Trump, a grassroots group that has shown its political support by becoming a protective force. After violence erupted at some Trump rallies, Cox and other bikers began showing up to guard against angry protesters. We'll see you at the Albany rally. All right, guys, let's load it up. All over the place, no matter where I go, there's bikers. And they come Donald Trump praised his biker friends over Memorial Day weekend after Rolling Thunder endorsed him for president. We'd have a thousand bikes. And I said, what are they all doing here? And my people would say, they're here to protect you, Mr. Trump. It's an amazing thing. Now they've come from as far away as Arizona and South Carolina to patrol the Republican National Convention. I'll be darned if I see a woman getting assaulted, spit on, eggs thrown at, shouted at, cursed at, I will not allow that in my presence. Because bikers want to see a wall built, because bikers want to see Syrian refugees vetted, it doesn't make us racist, it makes us patriots. We've got to change our policies in Washington. We've got to work on bringing jobs back to America. We have to work on race relations in America. I see Black Lives Matter, they're very frustrated with the way things are going, but the way that they're acting is counterproductive to our country. You see these young black men and women jumping up and down on cars and lighting things on fire, looting pharmacies. You'll never see a biker do any of those things. In the days leading up to the convention, Cox was camped 30 miles outside of Cleveland, planning a rally and fielding safety concerns. There's nothing but civil disobedience. There were reports that the new Black Panther Party would bring shotguns to protests. If they break through, it'll be small pockets. And there are going to be a lot of German shepherds there that can chase them down. So. But I think everything will be fine. Donald Trump is not the first political candidate that Cox has backed. He worked for Dan Quayle in the 1990s. Dan Quayle gave me that. That was my keepsake, you know. I had retired from politics. I was fed up with it. And uh, I became an artist, and I've done really nothing but carved wood since then. <laughs> These are my paintbrushes, actually. This is how I make a living. I These pieces of wood around here were on the way to a landfill or a dump. I like the fact that I'm recycling, I'm giving back, I'm, I'm helping the earth. You know? I like the idea of creating something. I like the idea of chasing my imagination. Cox entered the national spotlight in 2013 during the government shutdown. Sometimes you get a name that you don't really care for that much. Imagine being called the lawnmower man. All over the news, they were talking about how vulnerable all the memorials are. So I showed up with my beach cruiser and my cell phone, and I patrolled from 10 o'clock at night till about 5.30 in the morning every night. Then the grass started getting higher, so I showed up one day with a lawnmower, started cutting the grass, and that's when all the attention came on. And as a civilian, we don't get a lot of opportunities to serve our country, so when we get one, we need to step up and seize it. I saw firsthand the gridlock. And so I wished and hoped for a candidate to step forward outside the establishment. Lo and behold, here's Donald Trump. That's how Bikers for Trump was born. I saw an opportunity to reinvent the party. I spend all my money on it and about 90% of my time on it. I'm just a, a chainsaw artist from South Carolina. I'm not a political scientist. I don't have a lot of fancy degrees, but Donald Trump is definitely the answer. The fact that civilians have to step up and feel the need to protect the police officers is really unexcusable. And it's Despite security concerns, the first day of the RNC was peaceful. The police didn't need the help of the bikers. 
Meanwhile, Chris Cox ended up inside the convention, wrestling a banner from the hands of a female protester. <laughs> 